Hey, I've got a quick, easy tutorial today on how to do a tab bar navigation structure. This was requested by Ahmed in our Facebook group. If you've got a request for a tutorial, leave it in the comments. I'm looking for ideas of tutorials to make. Also, today we released 2.2.4, the new version of Flinto for Mac, and this fixes almost 100 bugs and some really important bugs involving uh, choppy animation. So if you were having any like uh, stuttering animation problems on the viewer or on your Mac. We fixed a lot of bugs related to those things. So this is a really important update. And uh, also update the Sketch plugin if you use that because we've made some improvements there as well. All right, enjoy the tutorial. All right, let's create this tab bar navigation. This is really simple in Flinto. And I've got four screens here. I've got one screen that corresponds to each of the buttons in my tab bar. And on each one, the appropriate item in the tab bar is highlighted. So on this one, it's three. And then the content applies to that um, item as well. So here's two, here's one. It's really easy to set this up. You just need to make a link from each tab to the appropriate screen and do that for all the screens. I'm going to show you a fast way to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is click draw link and then click and drag to make a link over the four uh, item on that tab bar, and then I'll link it to the four screen. I'm just going to use the fade in transition here to keep it simple. And now I'm going to draw another link. This time I'll press D on my keyboard. That's the shortcut for draw link. And that will go to three. I'll use fade in again. Do it again for two. Fade in. And again for one. Now you may wonder why am I putting a link on one if I'm already on the one screen here? Well, let me show you. So I'll click right onto the one screen. So this link just goes to the screen that you're already on, which means nothing's gonna actually happen. But that's fine. That just means on this screen, this link won't do anything. But now what I can do is copy all of these links. So I just held shift and clicked on each one. Then I'll press command C, go to the next screen and press command V to paste them in. I'll paste them into the next screen and paste them into the screen after that. Now all the links are on all the screens and I should be able to navigate around in the preview. So here I am in the preview. I'll click on two, three, four. And I should be able to get to any of these from any of the other ones. So I can click all around and they all work nicely. So that's all it takes to set up a tab bar. And you could do a lot of other things with this. Like maybe you want to do some custom animation so that when you go to the next tab, it actually animates in. Or maybe you want to allow for swiping on the tab bar to go between the states or swiping on the content below. And those are all pretty easy modifications from this simple tab bar technique. 